Stockton University has been ranked number seven in the nation for Hispanic graduation rate. We discussed this important milestone and programs that help remove barriers towards achieving a higher education. It's all here on the next Latino Motion. Join us. Choose to get lost in the woods to gain experience in forest management. Choose to travel through time to understand the past. Choose to soar to pursue a career in dance. Stockton University offers 50 high-quality academic programs, small class sizes, and affordable tuition. Choose to match your interests and talents at one of New Jersey's nationally ranked universities. Latino Motion with Bert Lopez is presented by Latino Motion Public Affairs Media, a New Jersey nonprofit corporation, and Stockton University. This edition of Latino Motion with Bert Lopez is brought to you by the HD Studios at the campus of Stockton University. Funding for Latino Motion is provided by Atlanticare, offering primary, specialty, and urgent care, plus surgery and more. Atlantic City Electric, energy for a changing world, and South Jersey Gas. Welcome to Latino Motion, a weekly interview show highlighting issues impacting New Jersey's Latino community while advancing understanding of Latino cultural heritage and contributions to our society. And here is your host, Bert Lopez. Buenos dias and welcome to Latino Motion. I'm happy to have as my guest, Dr. Awilda Colon, as well as Heather Medina, both with Stockton University. Ladies, welcome to Latino Motion. Thank you, Bert, for having us. And we want to start off with some breaking news. And Heather, I'm going to let you have the honors because I just got an email from the president of the university uh, telling me these great news about the Latinos uh, at Stockton. Please go ahead and share that bit of information. So we've recently been named seventh in the country of graduating um, Latino students. And uh, of course, that's a huge milestone um, as a, a small liberal arts University in New Jersey to be uh, seventh in the country to graduate both Latino and overall minority students um, in the nation. And, and I know, uh, Awilda, you you pretty familiar with the demographics. Down here in South Jersey, we certainly have a large Latino population. How important is it uh, that we have been able to reach this milestone for the Latino community? It's very important. We know that uh, numbers don't tell the story, right? We need to be in positions that can advance ourselves and can empower others to do the same. And for a community in South Jersey, where demographically our numbers really in the last census did not show um, that we have a lot more residents in South Jersey, to know that we have a cohort that graduated and that overall we're seventh as a university in terms of graduation rates of Hispanic and other minorities. This is a tremendous milestone, not just for Hispanics, but for all minorities. So uh, Heather, I know you're the director of admissions. So obviously you played a big role in, in this milestone as well as Heather, who is the executive director and tender professor of social work as well, uh, uh, the executive director for the Stockton Center for Community Engagement and Service Learning, big title. Uh, but Heather, uh, what do you attribute the success of, of reaching this milestone to? Uh, we, we've been quite fortunate now um, to have um, counselors that have been able to go into the high schools, um, recruit some very talented students. Um, I would be um, remiss if I didn't mention our annual Latino Visitation Day that we host um, here on campus where we bring prospective students um, from all of our neighboring counties um, to visit um, Stockton, but really to provide the access and the opportunity that Stockton has as far as support um, you know, for our Latino students. Um, I've made it my life's mission um, to really be able to help students do the process of the college application process. Um, as a Stockton alumni, um, I am you know, very uh, fortunate to now be on the side where I'm able to help 
um, students that wish to um, continue their education. And you have another great alumni, which is Jessica Grullon, who also That's works correct. with you. She's also the vice president of the Hispanic Association. And I know she's keeping me abreast. We, we did manage to do a, uh, a Latino uh, Youth Summit, and we're looking to bring that back. Uh, very important to continue to have that trend. And, and I, I know, um, uh, Awilda, that you're uh, pretty engaged in terms of what's happening out in the community. Um, in terms of reaching Latinos to go into higher education, uh, we still have a long way to go. Uh, tell me more about what's being done to uh, make that a, a possibility to get more uh, Latinos engaged in higher education. We have homework completion programs in the community and specifically um, in communities that would be difficult for them to travel to other towns, for instance. So we're right in the community of Stanley Homes Village in Atlantic City, and that's for the residents of Stanley Homes. And we are at Busby Village, that's for the, in the community room there, that's for residents of Busby Village. And we have a program in Pleasantville at the Atlantic County Pleasantville Library Branch. And what is important is that these collaborations are with the Housing Authority in Atlantic City and in Pleasantville with the City of Pleasantville and the Police Department there. So it is not just Acton as one partner, it's, it's, it takes um, a number of partners to make this happen. To remind us all that the statistics that ranked us seventh were statistics for students who graduated within six years, beginning in the fall of 2013 and ending with graduation in spring 2019. And that's important because as we know, coming into higher education is difficult, but staying and graduating, that is a time struggle for many families. And the fact that we are able to have that milestone, uh, it is important because we want them to come here, but we also want them to stay and graduate. Yeah, that, that's an important uh, piece of it too, right? Too many times we have, uh students that go on to uh, universities and they tend to stay uh, in that area or go away. You know, when they go away, you kind of lose that brain trust. Um, uh, Heather, what are some of the important things that you're doing uh, to try to make sure that uh, the students graduated from the local high schools are picking Stockton as one of their first choices? Absolutely. So first and foremost, um, in the area, we have expanded our dual credit partnerships with high schools. And so this gives an opportunity for students right in high school to take college level classes while they're still in school. Um, and in many cases, um, they're able to fast track themselves to complete um, a number of college credits at a discounted rate um, and be able to also um, have those uh, classes applicable towards their degree. Um, we attribute that fact that the students work very closely with mentors here on our campus. Um, they're assigned preceptors. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have students that are, are you know, quite involved with clubs and organizations or Latinos Unidos, um, of course, um, other um, organizations that we have on campus that serve as a huge support for students that they're here along the way. Um, yes, really also, the, the college life, right, it's a, it's a big, big piece of maintaining. And I'm glad you mentioned the Latinos Unidos and keeping the uh, uh, various, uh, the culture of Latino cultural absolutely. life right there in the university. Absolutely. Uh, what's next? I mean, this is an important milestone, uh, Heather. Um, what's the next milestone for the Latino community, for the Latino students that you're hoping to accomplish? Uh, well, as director of admissions, this is um, going into my second year. Um, and again, it's been a privilege and quite fortunate to be able to now um, be the director of admissions. Um, the goal is um, the legacy that I'd like to obtain and achieve would be a Hispanic serving institution. Um, I believe that we're on our way to achieve, you know, to obtain that, um, that accolade. And that's a, a accreditation, right? Uh, that's uh, 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 nationwide, and you're hoping that Stockton can achieve that. That's absolutely correct. 
But we do want to talk about an important issue, which is uh, uh, one obstacle to a college education is affordability. Uh, we do want to uh, uh, talk about that a little in depth. I know that Stockton has some great programs available and some great resources to be able to help even get a free college education. Thank you so much. We'll be right back with more Latino Motion. Latino Motion with Bert Lopez is presented by Latino Motion Public Affairs Media, a New Jersey nonprofit corporation. Join us online at www.latinomotion.tv. Find us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. We encourage your comments and contributions for show topics. Welcome back to Latino Motion. We continue our discussion with Wilda Colon, Dr. Wilda Colon, and Heather Medina, uh, Director of Admissions. Um, and ladies, uh, we were talking about uh, uh, the great news of uh, Stockton being uh, ranked number seven in the nation of, uh, for Latinos graduating uh, uh, college. So that's uh, a great achievement. Congratulations. Uh, Heather, we wanted to talk a little bit about uh, uh, affordability, which is a very big issue. But before we get into that, you indicated the, the next step to become a Hispanic serving institution. And just want to get a little clarity of what that means. And uh, I know, Wilda, uh, you had indicated off the air what that meant. You want to expand a little bit about what that means? Sure. Uh, the Hispanic Association of Colleges and Universities is an organization that has existed for 35 years. And they're the ones who established um, criteria to become a Hispanic serving institution. And it, it really calls for 20% of the enrollment of the university to be Hispanic. And that's the category they use um, specifically. Oh, that, that, that's, that's great. And hopefully that's a milestone that we'll be able to achieve and certainly uh, well before you retire, Heather. So <laughs> I, I, I know you said that's going to be your legacy. We want it uh, well, well ahead of that. Uh, let's talk about affordability, very important issue uh, for Latinos and other minorities, particularly for actually, it's an issue across the country. Uh, tell me about some of the things you're doing. And I, I saw an article recently uh, uh, with uh, uh, Dr. Councilman uh, indicating uh, the, the opportunities for free college. Please Absolutely. walk us through that. Absolutely. So here at Stockton, we have two opportunities. Um, last year, we rolled out our uh, Stockton Promise program. And so this is for families that earn um, zero to under $65,000 a year. Okay. We will cover them tuition and fees to the very last dollar. Um, so uh, the criteria there is to be a New Jersey resident. Um, they must complete the FAFSA application um, and they will be considered um, for this opportunity. Um, naturally, they would have to apply to the university, um, be admitted to the university, but this will cover the very last dollar of the tuition and fees. Um, we're, our second um, program that New Jersey Governor Murphy signed um, recently is our Garden State Guarantee. And this is for our uh, students that are transferring in from the community colleges. And it's the same type of criteria with the um, adjusted gross income of the family between zero to 65,000 would also cover them um, to tuition and fees. Um, and then the other um, caveat to that is, is that there's also a, a scale. So for families that earn under 80,000, um, they could receive tuition assistance as well. Um, so both great programs, um, but you know, again, this is, we're trying to ensure that students are able to not only come to college, continue to college, but also graduate um, close to debt free. Um, and that's so that that's very exciting. Uh, and you mentioned the uh, uh, starting off with the community college. I have to tell you, I started off uh, as a graduate of ACCC, and I know my. Uh, my friend Victor Moreno there at ACC is doing a great job uh, uh, working with the Latino communities to get them uh, started that way. And certainly being able to transfer from a community college directly to get your bachelor's degree uh, is outstanding. Uh, there's also uh, partnerships that you have with, with the high schools. 
I wish I had that when I was growing up. Tell me about those partnerships. So we have our dual credit options. And yes, the community college is an excellent opportunity. Um, but our response to the community college grant was our Stockton Promise. Um, so very much students are able to come to Stockton tuition and fees through our Stockton Promise Award if they are eligible. Um, the partnerships that we have with our area high schools um, are that students are able to sign up for dual credit offerings, um, receive um, up to four college credits for each of those classes, um, either at a discounted rate, which is less, uh, which would be $100 per credit, um, or for students that are on free or reduced lunch, they actually can take the courses for free. Um, and again, we, we have various options that are listed um, on our website, partner um, institutions and high schools that we have these partnerships with. And I will, that, I know that, uh, you know, affordability certainly has been a big obstacle uh, for many. Uh, do you feel that these type of programs are even going to have a greater appeal to getting more Latinos uh, to seek a higher education? I believe so. And to the extent that they connect to your show and we actually, by word of mouth, tell more families about these programs, we have a great opportunity. Uh, a lot of times just people are not aware of what's available, but you are doing great service by informing the community at large about these opportunities to stack them. And I will, uh, what's the, the difference? I know you, you, you're the best person to address this, uh, the difference between having a college education versus not having a college education, particularly for minorities uh, in, the, in the region? We have an industry here that offers great opportunity, right? We have casinos, we have hospitality, and there are so many different opportunities within those. If someone wants to just stay in the area, we have Atlantic Care, and we have obviously Stockton and Atlantic Cape Community College are great employers in our community. So someone with uh, a college education can advance themselves in terms of positions they can hold within these in institutions that I just mentioned. Or even if they want to be in other areas of the state, they are opening their own doors to additional possibilities and also possibilities for their offsprings if, if they ever have children. So I find and every statistic you read speaks to this the importance of higher education. Absolutely. And, uh... Heather, um, if someone wants more information, uh, how should they go about it to get that information? Please have them visit our website at www.stockton.edu. Um, admissions, you're able to um, also sign up for any of our um, on-campus events. We so happen to have an Es Posible virtual event um, coming up that I know that's going to happen after um, this airs, um, but we will have information for families of students that are um, either Dream Act students or DACA students. Um, you too are eligible and qualify for the Stockton Promise um, to be considered. Um, and also we have our open house coming up on April 3rd. Uh, which is an opportunity for students to not only visit the campus, but also talk to our great faculty um, and, uh, of course, interact with other students here. That's also a great opportunity for the parents as well, correct? Absolutely. We welcome the parents. We know that it is family decision, um, so we welcome them to do that. Uh, and, and we want to talk a little bit more about uh, the undocumented. You mentioned DACA students and you mentioned uh, um, uh, the, the opportunity for them to be able to get a college education. We're actually going to take a quick break, but I want to address with you, uh, Wilda, those kind of programs and, and what are you doing in terms of engaging with the community to help uh, that community as well. So we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Latino Motion. Welcome back to Latino Motion. We continue our discussion with Awilda Colon, Dr. Colon, uh, and uh, Heather Medina, uh, both with Stockton University. We were talking about the great achievement in terms of the university uh, being named uh, number seven in the nation in terms of Hispanics graduating uh, from college, a great achievement. 
uh, we want to talk a little bit about uh, uh, those obstacles that you're removing in terms of affordability. And, and you did mention uh, one important segment uh, for our community, which is the DACA or undoc undocumented. Heather, just going back to you very quickly, uh, sure. can you explain a little more about how those individuals are able to qualify and apply uh, to go to college? Absolutely, absolutely. So there are a number of programs and initiatives that we have in, as far as support for the students that are applying that meet the criteria of either a DAC or a DREAM Act student. Um, you would simply complete the admissions application. And there's an alternative application for student aid, which is through the state of New Jersey. Those students would complete that particular form. And once they complete that, we would evaluate them also for the Stockton Promise. If they meet that criteria of the families earning under 65,000 a year, between zero and 65,000, um, we will cover them to tuition and fees. Um, so that would cover their classes um, as a full-time student here at the university. Um, and at many times they would still be eligible for um, our merit-based scholarships, as well as any outside scholarships that could defray a lot of the costs of attending um, the university. Uh, which, is, which is very important, a big obstacle. Uh, I, would, uh, I, I know through your uh, community uh, engagement and service learn, learning program, uh, you're also engaged in helping to provide neutralization classes uh, for those individuals uh, who uh, came to this country to become US citizens. You wanna tell me a little bit a little bit more about that, please. Yes, uh, the naturalization process encompasses a number of steps. And one is uh, the individual has to pass a civic uh, test and has to be able to demonstrate that they can read and write in English. So the classes we, we provide at the John Park Academic Center in Atlantic City are to prepare individuals who are aspiring to become American citizens to be able to pass this uh, exam, the civic portion and the written and the portion in writing. And we are there every Tuesday at, in the Atlantic City campus from six to seven. And we're there all year, uh, usually from September to May. And this is important because many times it is difficult to study um, by ourselves. And if we have coaching from someone else, we have the resources that are needed and also the empowerment to feel that we can, regardless of our level of, of education, that is very significant because sometimes people think they can't become American citizens because they're not proficient in speaking English or reading it or writing it. But all they have to be able to do is show that they can comprehend uh, English and that they can actually understand about the civic uh, history of United States, and we prepare them on that aspect. So, so uh, you don't have to be a Stockton student. This is for anyone in the community who needs the service, could apply. Uh, how do they go about to sign up for these classes? They don't have to register. They just have to show up on a Tuesday from 6 to 7. We always have the flyer with information on the website of the Stockton Center for Community Engagement and Service Learning and no registration required, free of charge. And it doesn't matter whether they know how to use a computer or not, it is for everyone. And that's why I make it easier for them. I don't need people to have more barriers to be part of the democracy of the United States and actually be able to vote. So these classes, once they become American citizens, that's one of their rights and privileges. Hey, uh, Wilda, I know that your um... Center for Community Engagement is certainly involved in, in a lot of things. You want to walk me through some of the other programs and events that you're doing? It is important that we remember you started the, the segment talking about how we achieved the milestone of being seventh uh, in the nation for graduating Hispanics and other minorities in six years. And one of the ways in which universities uh, help students continue in their education is by having them do service. And individuals such as Hispanics, they like to do service and give back to the community. And to the extent that they engage in those opportunities, they tend to continue their education. Of course, there are many more factors, but that's one of those factors that we want to be sure 
they get to have that opportunity. So the homework programs in Atlantic City and in Pleasantville help our students continue to be engaged and give back. The Stockton students go to these programs daily where they are Monday through Thursday and they support children to remain interested in their education. And we have police officers in that room as well who are trying to work on building trust with children and families who are at, uh, enrolled in the programs. So you're, you're actually out in the community engaging uh, with community uh, organizations and members in terms of getting those students involved out in the community, correct? Yes, so the homework programs are Monday through Thursday from three to five. Uh, we are at the community rooms at Busby Village and Stanley oh. Homes, and we are in Pleasantville, in the community room in the library in Pleasantville. And Stockton students are tutors as well as police officers. Uh, that, that's outstanding. I know that uh, certainly, uh, Heather, uh, many schools are now uh, requiring that civic engagement and, and giving back to the community. Is that also part of Stockton's requirement? Absolutely. Um, one of the missions that we um, were able to implement um, about two years ago was our test optional. So we no longer require any SAT or ACT scores, but we do utilize a, um, a rubric for a scholarship consideration. So we look very closely at the things that students are involved in, um, whether they're in their community, um, employment, um, family responsibilities, all of that contributes to um, also scholarship dollars. So the more that they're involved in their community, um, as well as a strong academic student, they can be considered for a merit-based scholarship. And uh, I know we, we have uh, two minutes left, uh, Awilda, and one of the things I wanna ask you is Stockton celebrating their big 50, 50 year anniversary, and there's some uh, activities that are being planned uh, you want to tell me a little bit about that? Absolutely. There are a number of activities, but one that we are asking people to join us in will take place on April 23rd. We are going to be at O'Donnell Park. That's the, the place where we're all gonna, or going to gather. And it's going to be a cleanup in the entire city of Atlantic City. And we have on the website of the university more information about it for anyone who wants to join us for the cleanup and for the picnic. Uh, that's, that's great. Unfortunately, I'm going to be away, but having fun in Dominican Republic uh, that week. But certainly, uh, we want to encourage folks to come out and volunteer. I know that the members of the Hispanic Association are looking forward uh, to being involved and helping. Uh, there are certainly a, a lot of things that uh, the university is spearheading in terms of community engagement. And uh, Wilda, how important is it to have that partnership between the university and the community? Uh, having mutually beneficial relationships with the community um, is, is our goal. Obviously, uh, a university cannot be on its own. We are part of the community, we're within the community. And the community has to tell us how we support them best. The community members are the experts. We are not experts in the life of community members. They have to tell us and we look forward to learning from them and using our resources and position ourselves in a place that they can use what we have. Uh, Wilda and Heather, thank you so much. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have, but everything that you talked about certainly is a contributing factor as to why Stockton has been ranked number seven in the nation for Latinos graduation. So thank you so much for being part of the show. Thank you for having us. And thank you for joining us at home once again here on Latino Motion. Choose to get your feet wet, to learn more about protecting our environment. Choose to read minds, to understand the human brain. Choose to get your hands dirty, to create a masterpiece.
Stockton University offers 50 high-quality academic programs, small class sizes, and affordable tuition. Choose to match your interests and talents at one of New Jersey's nationally ranked universities. Funding for Latino Motion is provided by Atlanticare, offering primary, specialty, and urgent care, plus surgery and more. Atlantic City Electric, energy for a changing world. And South Jersey Gas.